How do I find out what God wants me to do with my life? Hello, my name is Father John Paul. I'm speaking to you from Harlem in New York City. The easiest thing to do is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. You can do that right now, even before you come up with the big question or answer the big question, what does God want me to do with the rest of my life? If you can't learn to do what God wants you to do today, you're not gonna be able to figure out what he wants you to do in the long run. But in the long run, you have to come up with the question. Does he want me to get married? Does God want me to have a heart for one person alone for the rest of my life? Does he want me to become a priest or religious? Or is he calling me to something else, to have an undivided heart for himself? One of the foundational questions that I need to ask you, do you know that your Father in Heaven loves you? That's the foundation for all answers. And if you don't know that, then that's what you have to discover. How can you do that? Prayer, reading some of the scriptures, maybe going on a retreat, taking some silence, speaking to someone who knows God and can lead you along that path. And that needs to be uh, one of the foundational steps for even asking the question, what does he want me to do? Second is, uh, whatever he's asking me, can I say yes to that, even if it's difficult? Because if it's difficult, it's going to raise up some fears. And it's good to know what those fears are so that you can deal with them. And if you can speak with someone like a spiritual director or a vocation director, those are good people to speak with to help and begin overcoming your fears. So, I have four means for you. The Eucharist, spending time with Jesus in his person, being in his presence reading the scriptures, especially the Gospels, spending some time in silence, doesn't have to be a long time at first, but spending some time in silence, and fourth, to get a spiritual director or a vocation director. Get these thoughts out onto your lips, into someone else's ears, so that they can start helping you work through this. But the best thing to do is find out what God wants you to do today with those people that are in your path today. And if you can do that, the next step will come.